Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the testing world and here we are going to learn a lot about JavaScript testing. Okay, so before starting with the testing library, testing framework and all these different libraries, first we will try to understand what is test about. How we can write a basic testing library, how we can uh, test a basic functionality without even writing test case, right? So whenever we write any feature, what we do is that we manually test things, right? If we are not using library. So we will write some functions like remove the array duplicates, addition, subtraction, multiplication. We will test it manually and then we will write our own assertion library. We will write our own uh, testing library and we will test it. Okay, so if we talk about uh, the simple code, what we are writing, we are writing a simple functions. Let's say cost sum, right? So this is a simple function, what it is doing, if you are passing two argument, a comma b, it is returning the summation of it. Let's say you have another function, remove uh, duplicates from an array. Here you are taking array as an input, right? And what you are returning is after removing the duplicates, right? So you can do it in the multiple ways new set and you pass the array this is the one way and if you want to do it there are there are many ways return array dot from you can just say new set array right so there are many ways in which you can write this code let's keep it simple and let's say we have another example is these are the functions we have written cons subtract and uh, this is taking two arguments a comma b and returning as a minus b now these are very basic things which uh, everybody knows how these work right now what we do is this is the the logic or the library code we have written we will export these things from here module dot exports and we will export some function and remove duplicates now we will write our own test function let's say here let's say we call it as a test.js right and in the test.js what we will do is we will import all these things from this file so we can write const import all these things from from this file we have index okay now how we can run a basic test basic test means we will execute the code we will execute this function as it is and we will try to see what we can test right so we imported this function and let's say we have two variable result and expected okay so here we can say okay i'm starting testing starting test and here you can actually call this function result sum right one comma two now the expectation from this that it should be will it, it's, it's equal to three right now we can say if result not equal equal to expected that means we can throw new error here saying okay uh, result is not equal to expected not same as expected simple and um, the, these are like very basic i'm teaching uh, if you're already aware about all these simple things you can skip this video so this result is not equal to expected. Similarly, you override these things. Okay, I am doing some another thing. Result and this is remove duplicates. And I'm passing an array. This is the array I'm passing. Okay, expected is the outcome of this array should be one comma two, right? So what I can do is expected dot length equal to result dot length. So here this is my expected and this is the result. 
result we already know we are going to get this much but here I am changing the expected result so if I just do result dot length should be equal equals to should not be equal equal to the expected dot length that means our test case has failed that means the result is not same as expected right so this is the basic test case this is how we were writing right I mean this is how we test the functionality by calling a particular function now let's give it as a proper structure let's uh, put it in a proper test we are like we are saying okay expect this to be not null expect this to be equal to this expect this to not uh, expect this dot length to be equal to that right so those are kind of assertion libraries which gives you n number of options to validate okay it is not null array length equal to same Now what we want to do is we wanted to give it as a proper structure that means okay this is not the right way man we can import these things let's say these are actually our core utility functions summation subtractions and remove duplicates but we want to give it a proper structure like if you have seen the jasmine mocha all these provide describe its syntax right so let's not use that for now we will write our own okay testing some function okay and what we are saying is okay there will be a callback and that callback will do something okay now we have to write this test function this test function which will run which will do the comparison of result with the expected okay here what we are doing is we are just saying const result equal to sum 1 comma 2 okay const expected is 3 and here we are using some we are going to write our function const result dot to be let's say we are writing uh, one function we are not using any assertion library that means we have to define this logic somewhere okay there is a test function having callback and there is expected taking one argument calling another inner function to be an expected right so let's do that first so what this test function looks like test function is taking a callback right so function test and it it is taking two argument title and callback let's say and here you can wrap it inside inside a try catch there is a possibility if you are writing async uh tests so what we are doing here is we will execute this callback if this callback is executed successfully that means your test case has been passed console.log passed okay otherwise if you are going inside a catch block that means there is an error Right, you can do console.log error or console.error let's say we put it as error and we will print error now this title is this and this is a callback okay we have a result and expected now we need to write this expect function also this expect function will actually throw the exceptions and all that we will catch in the test function okay so what expect will do if you see this function expect taking one argument then we are calling something so let's define this const expect and it is taking the actual input that we are comparing with the result so this is the actual result and this is we are expecting right that means this will be calculated from the utility and this is what we are expecting now we need to compare whatever the result we are getting from the utility is same as our expectation or not and you already know this is returning a function so here we are calling to be and this is our expected okay 
and here we will compare this is like a closer error function actual if actual not equal equals to expected here we are just doing a simple uh, comparison using triple equals right and what we are saying if actual not equal equal to this then we will just do throw new error and we will say okay actual is not same as expected right we have written this expect functionality also so if whenever this is not equal to this then it will throw exception and that will be captured inside a catch right because this is the test function whatever is going to happen in the execution if there is no exception that means it will return the callback and your console.log uh, everything is passed okay we can just put it a simple title okay this particular test case has been passed this particular test case has been failed this has been passed this has been failed and we can just put it like this and we can also say console.log console.error error yes this will satisfy our need now this is for summation we can do it for anything let's say uh, testing the array duplicate function so what we are passing here this is the array we are passing this is the result it will give us one and two and our expectation is i'm saying one two three obviously it is not same as that so result dot length to be here we are just doing a triple equals comparison that length of this should be equal to that now we can also write unhappy path so this is unhappy path and this we can call as a happy path happy path means the expectation is same as the result then it should pass now we are just calling this test function and expect right we can execute this and we can test this particular functionality so here we will open our terminal this is written purely in node.js so we should be able to test it remove duplicates the function name is not correct here let's correct that okay so we can say node test.js now it should be you can see testing some function it passed an happy path failed right and there is a last test case which is passing currently it is showing all the stack trace because we are printing it now if i just do this then it will just say okay these are the past these are the fails right so what we did is we created a simple simulation of the test function and the expect logic right with the simple test case now you can also write async test cases okay these sum and subtractions are the synchronous functions but you might remember that you can also write async here that means this test function can also take care of async functions that's uh, let's take a look on to that in the next video